WrestlingInc.com, Chair Shot Rally. That is where we are living now. You can check us out all over WrestlingInc.com's YouTube channel or social media. Of course, you can also follow our individual social medias at CS Reality, at Josh Eisenberg4, at Justin Lamar. Make it more and of you our... know it's the summer, Justin. I know it's the summer. Do we have no ties on? That's the We're key. Out of the studio. That's the key. Can we wear Hawaiian shirts next week. What do you think about that? Hawaiian shirts and cigars. Mac, mm-hmm. uh, Mark Madden has a trademark. We can't do the Hawaiian shirts. Damn it! Of course. <laughs> uh, WrestleRumble.com. Go on and uh, have fun uh, making your backlash predictions. You could win up to five hundred dollars. So if you're going to watch backlash anyway, you might as well have some money at stake and make it that much more fun to just follow along. Uh, one of the matches, Josh. I'm uh, maybe the match I'm most looking forward to because I'm a big fan of both of these guys, and both of them have been out of the ring for various amounts of time. Uh, Big Cass, who's been out for eight months, returning for injury. And, of course, Daniel Bryan, uh, who just returned not long ago after three years of being out due to a medical disqualification. Uh, They've hopped into this feud, very simple, old school, big man pushing the bully around. Uh, I think it works well. Um, And and I I think this is a great opportunity to get Big Cass a win. Daniel Bryan does not need it. Daniel Bryan... Uh, has a, has the long term goal of the Miz, who so easily the Miz could could find himself as a, just a simple distraction. Even if you know they've they've done a great job holding the Miz and Dan O'Brien away from each other <clears throat> since uh, uh, Miz got drafted or over there and, and Brian's returned. So even just as simple as the Miz's music playing would be enough to get Dan O'Brien's attention because he wants to get his hands on the Miz. So that could be just enough yeah. for, for Cass to get a uh, heel win, and I think that'd be big for his career right now. I get the fact that they wanted Daniel Bryan versus Big Cass to get more heat on Big Cass. Um, but the weird thing is when Cass left, he wasn't getting good heat. You know, he was getting, God, this guy's boring. He looks generic. And it could have been because he was teaming or he was uh, you know, uh, feuding with his former team at Enzo Amore. So this match to me will tell me everything I need to know about the future of Big Cass. And, and you might say, wow, just, just one match, Josh? You really think one match is going to tell you everything you need to know? Yeah, because if he can keep up with Daniel Bryan, the crowd's going to like him. They could still hate his character, but they can at least appreciate him in the ring. We're not sure what Big Cass can really do in the ring. We've seen a couple of big chops, clotheslines, boots, how you doing, this empire elbow, all that um, stuff with Enzo. But can you name one match with Enzo and Cass or just Cass that's been memorable? Because I can't. Uh, not memorable in the sense of, yeah, for, for anything that Cass has done. Like knowing that, okay, this guy can really go. I'm no. not sure I've seen that yet. I need to see that to appreciate him. No, I, I appreciate what he's done on the mic right now, but I've not appreciated anything else. I would agree as a whole we have. And I've, I, you know, I think we've seen little glimpses of Cass and just the fact that he's a big man that can uh, move around is always a, always a plus. So, uh, yeah, putting it all together, and then of course he was going to have the best dancing partner possible. Dan, you know, if, if, if you can't look good, against, sure. if you can't look good against Dan O'Brien, then I, you know, that's that's a that's a huge problem for you. Yeah, moving forward. So yeah, this would be a lot. Uh, this would be a very telling match indeed for both men. But I think this is a great, <clears throat> again, a great opportunity uh, for Cass to get a victory here. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of big versus little, Justin, the Rob Women's Championship. I mean, very similar kind of statures mm-hmm. and uh, the very small underdog against the giant Nia Jax defending her championship against Alexa Bliss. Is there any way that Alexa retains? Because I really don't think she does. And I was surprised how uh, long the match was at WrestleMania. I thought it was maybe under going to be under four or five minutes. It ended up being about seven or eight. Um, I see this match being very similar to what it was at WrestleMania. I just we I like both, but both don't work well together for a long term feud inside the ring. Yeah, I, I don't see any way Alexa Bliss takes the title back. It's going to stay on Nia Jax. She seems to be uh, where they're committed to right now. Um, she has a good thing going. She has some uh, momentum with, as a baby face of the crowd. I like the story they're telling, a kind of mm-hmm. um, you know body shaming and, 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 and bullying the, the, the bigger person here. I, I think there's just a lot of relatability to it. I think it's, it's, it's a story that people can relate to, and the crowd's reacting to it. I, will be, I, I don't even know if we're going to get a full match. I'll be, I'll be interested, again, because there's so many females... <clears throat> so many moving pieces in both women's divisions, but all in Raw especially, uh, I could see Alexa Bliss trying to have somebody try to fight her battles and they could try to draw this out, especially if if some of the rumors have been true and Bliss has not been in the ring uh, due to some kind of injury that she might have been dealing with. So if they want to protect that or she's not quite ready to uh, perform at Alexa Bliss level, they could. Uh, this, this could turn into a little bit of a, of a goofy kind of, I have somebody fighting for me in substitution, yeah. I, I don't know. Or- or somewhat like a – not a gimmicky, but a little like a, a funny type match where she's running around. She's yeah. trying to avoid Nia Jax, things like that. But, yeah, you're right. It's going to be very interesting to see how this match pans out. And if you're not binge-watching here on the Wrestling Inc. YouTube channel, you didn't you didn't hear what Labar said to end the last segment. He was saying that there could be a new world champion to, to end Backlash or maybe just you know AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura. I, I want to know what you're talking about here, Justin. Well, look, I mean Nakamura um, as a heel – I think is, is, is I think it's worked well. Granted, it's only been a month, 
But I think the no speak English, the sarcasm, the low, I mean, there's nothing dirtier. The looks. the looks, absolutely, the facial expressions, but there's nothing dirtier that you can do other than a low blow. You know, guys can, guys can pull the rope, guys can, uh, you know, whatever, but, but when you low blow somebody, when you hit another man in the nuts, there's no more dastardly thing, and he's making that, I know. that that's been his secret weapon. So <clears throat> I, think, I think it's working. I think uh, AJ Styles is, is is almost untouchable right now. Like you could, you know, I mean, AJ Styles is a guy who 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 went ran around with a James Ellsworth. AJ Styles is so well respected and proven that nothing could really harm him. And yeah. I think that right now it's working with Nakamura. So how it makes so much sense not only to get Nakamura the rub with that title, and and it, but also you have Gallows and Anderson over there on SmackDown. And if those guys were to come out, and right now they're on the babyface side of things, but if they were to come out, you think they're going to help AJ Styles? But they in fact. Uh, don't, and it's a no-DQ match, and they align with Nakamura, now all of a sudden you have a faction for Nakamura to lead, you have two guys who can help on the mic with them, and you have three guys who can now go back and forth with AJ Styles, uh, drawing some things out uh, over the summertime. Yeah, I think um, if you really want to uh, reap the benefits of Styles and Nakamura, that's a good way to go. Spoiler alert, it's not going to happen. You know, um, Gallows and Anderson aren't going to be in New Jersey. There you go. There's your little tip. Um, but I do think Shinsuke Nakamura and AJ Styles Private is a jets. good opportunity. You think so? Okay. I mean, we've been fooled before, Justin. If Matt Hardy can lie to you, I, I think my man Carl can lie to me. So I'm just going to say. But anyway. Hardy didn't lie to me. He just didn't tell you. No, I saw him in Pittsburgh and he got his medical testing. I did know. Did you know? I did. You well, know everything. Well, plus we, had, well plus we had him a week later for IWC, so we had to know. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I'm not going to get into it, okay? I'm going to eat crow on that one. But the question that I want to ask you is not necessarily who wins this match, because I do think you can see Shinsuke Nakamura winning and becoming champion. But where did it go with WWE creative? Where was the deciding factor to turn Shinsuke Nakamura heel? Was it simply because AJ Styles can potentially never be a heel again where they needed somebody to feud with him? Like, I'm curious to see from WrestleMania, that huge reaction. They knew he was going to get a great reaction and a great response at WrestleMania. What changed where they said, hmm, this is where we need to turn him heel? Because Nakamura can be the number one babyface in NXT because the NXT crowd... Um, well, you, you can be the number one babyface just on simple work rate and just by the um, the legacy that Nakamura had dating back into New Japan. But on Raw and SmackDown, you need to be able to talk people in the building. You could be a C-level performer in the ring, but you need to be able to talk people in the building in order to be in the title picture and to be in the main event. And Nakamura just doesn't have that talk people in the building as a babyface, at least. Now, you put him as a heel, and then along with the facial expressions, along with the mystique of being the artist, um, you know, hit, broken English or, 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 or less, you know, less speaking, it, it can work as a top heel. Now, if he ever wants to be a top babyface again, there probably have to be some adjustments to it. But this, at least right now, is better than him just being relegated to mid card or 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 you know, uh, nothing. So this keeps him in the top picture. This keeps him uh, doing what he does best, which is uh, which is wrestling. And mm -hmm. you know, I, we're and again AJ Styles. I mean, you know, AJ Styles who can play a great heel. Again, he's solidified himself. He's at that point now where he's almost he's almost just so damn good. Nobody wants to boo him for any which way. Yeah, so yeah, I agree. One of the things that I do love about the idea that you were saying of Gallows and Anderson getting involved. Um, both of those guys, I mean, you know, you have a great connection with Gallows. He's a big, physical, strong guy. Anderson's in the best shape of his life. He's under 200 pounds. Have you seen, I mean, you've seen him working his ass off in the ring whenever he gets that opportunity and outside of the ring. These guys are too good and they have that background with both men where if they would turn on AJ, you still would be like, okay, I understand why they did that. It wouldn't be something out of the blue, thin air. It'd be, ah, okay. They were also boys with Nakamura. There's something there. So it puts a story together more than just trying to script something and throw it in and see if the crowd would like it because in the back of a lot of the crowd's minds, they would already understand and already know it. So at the end of the day, I'm all for that. I think I'm all for progression with a lot of their SmackDown guys. And the next step for Nakamura has to be world champion. If he loses at WrestleMania, if he doesn't win at the Greatest Royal Rumble, if he doesn't win at Backlash, what happens? What do you do? Nothing. You can't do anything because that's three straight losses against AJ Styles. And Styles knows that. Styles is a pro, like you said. Styles knows that Nakamura needs the title right now more than AJ Styles. Well, and I'll do you one more on booking here. Even if, even if Gallows and Anderson aren't physically going to end up being in Jersey, uh, it, it's not out of the question still to try to make this work, if, even if they want to milk this out. I mean, from the point of AJ Styles being attacked backstage prior to his match, so he's not at 100%. Uh, or, or even anything that, that I, I could easily see them. If, I mean, because Nakamura and Styles aren't going anywhere. 
<clears throat> but this is already going to be the yeah. third. This is already going to be the third televised match in a month after Mania and the Greatest Royal Rumble. So um, this could be their best. By the way, this will be their best match. It, it could be, uh, but again, it's third. Yeah. It's third televised one in a month. Uh, all three for the title. So if this is going to continue being a thing between these two, they're going to need to bring other elements into it. We're already in the yep. no DQ territory, so bring in two other guys in who do a turn and form an faction. Again, even if it doesn't happen at Backlash, whether it's something they carry over on the SmackDown on Tuesday or in a future week, I still think that if you have Gallows and Anderson on SmackDown, uh, they even said it to me, WrestleMania Week, uh, on an interview that's on my podcast, that they feel like they're in a little bit of a rut. This would certainly take them out of that rut sure. and put them back into a prominent uh, booking position. WrestleRumble.com, go on and make your predictions. Who do you think is going to win and lose? You can win up to $500. Follow along at Josh Eisenberg Forrest. He'll be in New Jersey for Backlash Sunday night. At Justin Labar, make sure you like, comment, share the video, do what you got to do. We'll be back next week. It is CSR on Wrestling Inc.